Hi there, happy Tuesday. I'm just doing a little quick check-in today. Um, I have to take Hubby over. He's getting one of his cataracts fixed today. So um, I just thought I'd show you what's on my table for this week. So I took Frida's signatures out of the press. As I suspected, they were much more compact. Let me grab her cover. So if you watched yesterday, you remember that these signatures, let me move my press, these signatures filled, sorry getting things out of the way. <laughs> these signatures filled the um, this cover. And do you see now what a press does? <laughs> So that, remember I said, oh, I'm going to have more room after I press them. There we go. So I'm definitely going to have more room for, um, definitely going to make text blocks, not text blocks, <laughs> journaling boards. Oh my goodness, of course I'm making text blocks. It's too early, too early. <laughs> we have to be at the hospital for 7.30. <laughs> Anyhow, so I thought, well, I've, since I've got room, um, I've put together a few more folios from a little bit heavier quality paper. So these are fun for putting pockets onto them or use, having these ones be the ones that I sew lace onto or fabric. You know the drill. So this one's from a book I have... Um, it's called Janet Marsh's Nature Diary, and very pretty, creamy colored paper. I had to trim it up a little bit, uh, but it, I think that's pretty, so that's going into Frida. I love this. Oh, sorry, it's glary. I have to have my lights on right now, So, but I loved that. Look at that geranium. <gasps> Is that gorgeous? Those are colors Frida would love. So that's going in as well. And then, of course, I've got room for um, some Edith. So I'm going to put those in as well. I have already prepared the little envelope. Where is it? I think I put it in five. Yes, I did. So I put the, I glued the name down on it. Uh, now I won't glue it shut until it's sewn in because, hold on, there we go. I'm, I'm over on my standing table in case you, look at those. Oh, I could do a whack, whack, whack. Sorry. Um, sew it in, then these go, these go in, that goes up, glued it, glue it shut, and you've got a really cute little envelope made from in, in this case, it's a, a book on birds of paradise. So now I do think because Frida, I think it's Frida and Mona are the bigger ones. Um, I'll be able to actually put a few more in. I'm not sure how much more I could put in um, Isolde or in Meryl. All right, so let's see what these are like. I forget who's in here. Mona. Okay. So again, just very compact. Isn't that nice? It just helps to smooth out all those tea dyed papers. I'd say this is probably about 50-50. 50, 50. 50 regular papers, 50% 50 regular papers, 50% tea dyed. So that can mean quite a bit of extra bulk purely because of crumpling. Let's get these out of the way. So Mona is ready. Let's take a look. Yes, Mona's Mona's not quite as wide. One and seven eighths. So yeah, Mona's just going to be nice to be able to fit in um, a journaling board. Um, I do have. I did choose. 
chose some pages out of the same books and I will be able to fit these in to Mona so I'm happy about that. Let's see, let's see who's in here. These things are tough. They're not very expensive, you can get them at any hardware store. Oh, this it's Isold. Hello, Isold. Yep, that looks nice. That's gonna be good. Now let's see how these ones are. Sometimes the bricks and cutting boards don't do as good a job as the clamps do. So let's see, because I may put, this is Merrill's. You know what, that's not bad. I'm quite happy with that. Hmm, okay. I think I'm okay with that. I, otherwise, I would have moved uh, Merrill's signatures over into, um, into my sea lemon book press i just given a little a little more time in there one more overnight when you're making this many books as one at once you know i usually it takes me one week to make one book maybe a little bit longer sometimes especially if it's a big book so i'm making four big books i really need to i, I need to remember not to be hard on myself time wise that these are going to take a while um, yeah so my my next thing to do to uh, today because I'm going to drop puppy off and then wait for them to call me and tell me to come and pick him up so I have in sorting through books down there on the floor look at that look at that mess I've just hauled them off my shelves <laughs> and plopped the big heavy ones just on the floor and they're a mess. So uh, that's my next job to do while I wait for the sweetie pie to... Oh, now what did I drop? Oh, I dropped a rock. There we go. Sorry. Um, anyhow, um, so that'll give me something to do. There I am. That'll give me something to do while I'm waiting for him. It won't be very long. They say that it's the paperwork and the lead up that takes longer. Um, sorry if this is bouncing. Um, they say it's the paperwork or the lead up that takes longer than the actual procedure takes like 10 minutes, I've heard. So that's good to know. So anyhow, um, wish me luck with the crazy mess down, down here. Oof. That shouldn't take too long. And uh, I may go through some of the, I've got some art books in there, buried and such. And I may go in and find um, maybe some old masterpieces, uh, uh, pictures of old masterpieces to put into the ladies as well. Because I certainly have the room, especially in the two bigger ones, I've got room to put that in. So uh, I'm going to get going. Have a great rest of your day. I'll check in either tomorrow or later on this week. Take care. Bye.